Hi, this is Hans and welcome to my channel. So this time we're going to study about chord constructions. So basically the, the chord is the sounding of normally three or more notes simultaneously. It could be also called as a dyad, which means we are playing a couple of notes though. But normally we're going to be playing with a chord made up of three different notes, which is what we called a triad just like this which contains a scale degree of one three and five all right so we will be using generic numbers basically we have our uh, uh, a seventh note one two three four five six seven seven note but we're going to be working only with this triad which is the one three and five so later on it will going to be uh workable also with a different uh um what we called like a keys. So for now, I'm playing a key of C. If I will be going to play in key of E, I will be do, still be working with the triad one, three, and five. So, but you will notice that my one is E, my third is G sharp, and my fifth is a B. So going back to C, key of C, my triad is one, three, five, which is C, E, and G, right? So basically, that is a triad. So we can also play with the dyad, right? As I'm showing to you, or one, two, or three, three, five, right? So the most common triads are basically what we call a major, major, and basically it comes also with a minor. So later we will come to know how we could play a typical uh, triad on a major, and the typical triad. Uh, uh, notes also uh, playing with a typical minor so for, ex for example for a triad uh, one three five this is already an example of a c major so if you are going to make this one as a minor triad with a c minor so what you will going to do you will be having a flat third so so this uh, this three will going to be flat third so you will you're gonna be playing like this as a C minor. Alright, so one flat third and fifth. Okay, basically the major chord sounds relatively brighter when we play it in A major. Or sometimes what we call this, sometimes it's pretty much a happy, happy chord or happy sound. But when we are playing with a minor chord sound relatively sounds like a darker bit. Like this one, or sometimes they say it's sad. Right? So this is just uh, as per a layman definition on the difference between the major and the minor. Right? So moving on. So after working with uh, yes. a major, one, three, five, we have a minor with a flat third, one, three, five. This is a C minor. Now what about a diminish? Basically. Uh, the diminished uh, symbol has sometimes a dim or dim or o or a uh, circle down. So, if, say for example, uh, how we could play in the key of C. Normally, a diminished it comes with a one, a flat third, and a flat fifth. So, this is an example of a C diminished. C diminished. So, one, a flat third, and a flat fifth. Right? It will come like a C. Right, a D sharp and an F sharp, right? So I can do an octave from my left for a component and this sounds as a C diminish. Okay, with a sign of plus or augmented AUG, a typical one, three, but it has a sharp uh, five. So one, three, sharp five. So this is uh, uh, an example of an augmented. So since we are on key of C, this will be going to be a C augmented so one three with a sharp fifth sharp fifth right so let's just touch some other triads like sus two and sus four so it will be a sus two one two five one two five and a sus four is one four five one four five All right so there you go those are the triads and uh uh, which we played on the major, the minor, the diminished, the augmented, the sus2, and the sus4, right? So, moving on, uh, let's, uh, let's go with this, some of the seventh chord, uh, what we call that 
like uh, a typical major 7 or a dominant 7. So we'll see the difference between the major 7 and dominant 7. This is normally people are misleading to this uh, dom 7 or dominant 7 and uh, major 7. Basically like if you're working with a C or a C7, that is an example of a dominant 7. And how it works, the 7 is basically we, we play that one in the 7 key right there. So in the seventh key but this is an example of a major seven right this is an example of a major seven later we will compare a c major seven from a c dominant seven or c seven so safe example so since we're playing the seventh key that's only either between that's only a typical flat or a typical seven right but if we are now playing a real major seven so we will add on one key for that uh, actually you will not okay add on the triad of course it will come as a four key now but we're going to stretch a bit your finger right so now let's start with the major seven so c major seven will normally play like this with the seven key c major seven so with the c7 or a c dominant seven which means we will be having a flat seven so this is a C7 or what sometimes we call as a C dominant 7 or dome 7, right? But it has a flat 7 key, right? We can also play that one either in, in minor. So if we're playing with a minor, uh, C minor, of course, a flat, flat third. So with a dominant 7, of course, we will be having a flat 7. So this is a C minor or C minor. Um, dominant 7 right C minor dominant 7 so normally you can see that my 7 is in the flat so if I'll be playing also with uh, a, a minor but in the major the slash that is uh, we will call like later like a minor minor with the 7 major 7 right but later right? this is an example of a C minor uh, C minor C minor with a flat third and uh, it will be one uh, flat third fifth and seven so this is a c minor slash major seven okay i'll be showing you later uh, some uh, a description of this one and some uh, symbols that we're gonna be working on this okay going back to um major seven and dominant seven so we we could have also see a, a little uh a chord seventh like um, a minor a flat fifth say for example this is a, a C minor with a flat third but your flat uh, will be having a flat fifth flat fifth but you will be having with a flat seventh so which means uh, this is a typical uh, C minor flat fifth right? this is the flat fifth C minor flat fifth but it comes with a 7, right? So if you will complete this one, it's a C minor 7 flat 5th. This is normally the chord of this. C minor 7 flat 5th. You can see the flat 3rd, flat 5th, and a typical uh, minor 7, which is uh, a dominant 7. Right, so we, we could add on later, uh, once again, from our diminished, like a diminished 7 or augmented or augmented 7. Okay, for C diminished 7, if we will go into review our C uh, diminished, uh, we have a flat 3rd and a flat 5th. So 1, flat 3rd and a flat 5th. And if we will add on a 7, uh, a seven, uh, a bit um, confusing this one. This will gonna be a double flat seven, so which means it will be here on the seven. So once again, as uh, so this is a C diminished seven, so one flat third, a flat fifth, and then a flat double flat seven. Okay, so double flat seven. So this is a C diminished seven. Okay, what about in augmented? So augmented, let's say for augmented, uh, C augmented on the triad is one three. Um, sharp fifth okay sharp fifth but add on with the seven so we will be having uh, a, like a typical dominant seven but that would be a flat seven right again that is one three uh, sharp fifth and a typical dominant seven which is a flat seven right so this is an example of a, a C augmented 7 so normally C augmented uh, dominant 7 right 
So now, uh, let's add on some some other seventh chord uh, combined with some triad chord. What about uh, a major seven with uh, a sharp fifth? Say, for example, a major seven uh, sharp fifth. So if we will see a C major major seven will be will be like this, right? So which means this is the seventh key, but with the C major seven uh, sharp uh, fifth will be like this all right. All, right. all right so this is a c major seven with a with a sharp fifth right this is a sharp fifth you can see i have a g sharp here right so that will end up all of our seven now we will work with a major six and a minor six right so it's so easy because the six is here so which means a typical c plus uh, with the six oh, i'm sorry it's not plus but one three five six so c uh, major six right and similarly also we can do a c minor six which is it comes with the flat third and five six this is an example of a c minor six right now um quite a few still uh we need to touch though though we have touched already the minor slash major seven what about the minor seven with uh uh minor seven with a um sharp fifth right say for example back to uh, uh minor seven which is a dominant seven okay uh, with a flat flat third right and then of course a minor seven or a dominant seven uh, comes with a, a flat seven but what we will do we will be having a fifth or uh, sharp on the fifth so let's once again what is this code this is a c minor c minor seven or c minor dominant seven with a what do you call this one with a uh fifth or sharp on the fifth c minor dominant seven with sharp fifth right so let's go back once again to a minor slash major seven so that is like uh, a c minor with a flat third one flat uh, third and fifth and then a typical uh, uh major seven right so this is an example of a c minor slash major seven slash major seven so it's not a dominant seven but a slash major seven right now uh probably uh three more uh, to go uh, what if we could work on on the chord with a major seven and in a flat fifth Okay, major seven and a flat fifth. So we have a major seven and a flat fifth. One, three, and the flat fifth will be like this, right? Flat fifth, but we have a major seven. So this is this chord is what we call a C major seven with a flat fifth. C major seven with a flat fifth. Five. So we still have the seven key, seven note which is a seventh uh, which is a major seven not a dominant seven because a dominant seven basically it will come on a flat seven but uh, here we are playing it on a major seven right but the the flat fifth is here on the f sharp so this is a c major seven with the flat fifth okay couple of more left to go uh, what about a dominant seven with a flat fifth so we did a major seven with a flat fifth but this one dominant seven with a flat fifth so now let's try with the c c dominant seven with a flat fifth so one three with a flat fifth right? one flat fifth and of course with a flat seven because normally a dominant seven it comes with a flat seven right so this this chord is an example of a c dominant seven with a flat fifth where's the flat fifth it's over here so instead of g the flat uh, will become uh, change it to flat fifth which is f sharp right once again this is a c dominant seven with a flat fifth so last uh let's jump into a a seven sus four right a dominant seven sus four so it looks like complicated uh, but if you will patch in every single uh the triads and uh minor and diminished augmented sus two and sus four combined with the seven chord is quite more easy so let's uh, this is a seven sus four so meaning i can play with a typical sus four one one four five 
right? This is C sus four with a dominant or uh, with um, with a dominant seven will going to be a flat five. Let me play it like this. Oh, not a flat five. Sorry, this is a flat seven. Okay, what chord is this? This is a C with C seven sus four. One four five and and we have here a dominant uh, seven which is a flat seven All right so there you go uh we have completed our notes and uh, we can just uh, review the rest of which we have uh, studied though all of it uh, which uh, that comes with the letter name or a chord normally it comes with a one count or a root note so this is c d e f g a b c right so basically those if we combine them in a typical chord we will have a root position so many often say that this is this is a, a first inverse but no it wasn't this is a root position a chord with a root or one as the lower note so this is the one note which is c as the lower note which means this is a root position this is not yet the first inverse because we still be having a first second and third inverse now we can apply that one as well in d this is the root of d we can apply that one in 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 d sharp we can apply that one in e we can apply that one in f we can apply that one in f sharp one three five g right G sharp, right, A, right, B, and then, I'm sorry, B, right, I'm going to uh, A sharp or back to C, right. So if we will go to take the, the, the root position of C, the lower, the lower, lower note will be your, uh, your root basically, right, your root note. If we will take the first inversion of the C code, so we will do the the lowest note or the third will be the lowest note so which means uh if you're gonna be working with the first inversion with the third as the lowest note so this is my this is my third right this is we'll, let's make this one as the lowest note and this will be equivalent of the first inverse of c right once again c first inverse as the, the the third is the lowest note now with, with the second inverse uh a chord with the fifth as the lowest note once again go back to the root this is the fifth and we will make this one as the lowest note and that would be your second inverse so this is the c second inverse this is the c first inverse this is the c root this is the c uh first inverse with the second is the lowest uh, uh, the third note uh, will be your lowest note and your fifth will be your lowest note will be your second inverse so the the third inversion will be the most trickiest spot because the third inversion is with an add-on of seven key or with seven so normally the seven here so what we do the seven will gonna be the lowest note so which means this will be an example of of a third inverse we just add on this seven but make it seven as your first note because uh, it considered to be the seven will be the lowest note so this would be now your third inverse you will not do like this right but what you will going to do is like this okay once again root c one three one three five right one one will be your uh lowest note which is your root this is your uh, first uh, root position and the first inverse will be your third will be your lowest uh, note right and this is three uh three five one is something like that but the one will be the highest now right now the second inverse will be the fifth will be the lowest note will be uh five one three like this right so i just repeated the one and three were the higher version because this is an inversion and the third inversion will be the seven as the lowest note will be seven one three five right all right so there you go so thank you very much for tuning in uh hopefully you learn regarding our um, um chord uh, construction and eventually uh we can we could also apply this one in scale that we can play in different keys like uh, family chords so that you will know and fully understand how the C, a typical C has a family chord of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And ba 
basically with the chord uh, progression maybe from our next uh, video tutorial will going to be like a C like, like a typical C and your D major your E your third will be a minor your fourth will be a major uh, your your third, uh, fifth will be a major your sixth will be a minor your seventh will be a diminished right so once again thank you and this is hands see you to my next video bye bye for now